Hi, this is Greg. Welcome to my channel. This is a Lifetime Tamarack Angler 10-foot kayak I purchased at Walmart. Since I've purchased this, there's a ton of info I've seen on the internet, so I'm not going to do a full review of it. What I will tell you is that for the money, this is probably the best value out there. Kayak comes with a paddle, which I've upgraded, which I'll probably cover in another video. But uh, for today, the purpose is how to contend with this raised hatch on this model. The prior version had a flat screw-in type of hatch. So if you're mounting a milk crate to carry your, your uh, supplies and or your poles, there's not a flat surface to mount that. So, so here's what I did. There's a lot of content out there, but I haven't found anything really that's a good solution. So, so all I did is I took a milk crate and I purchased some furring strips. I used cedar material and I built just a small frame on the inside of the crate. All you're trying to do is get above the edge of the lip on the, the hatch to cover uh, to cover that. So screwed the uh, cedar furring strips in from the inside of the crate, used a washer, I'll show you here in a second. And uh, the only adjustment I've had to make on the kayak is I did put a pad eye on each side that I tie down with just a simple trucker knot. So it's real easy to disconnect if you need. So there's a pad eye on both sides uh to secure everything so i did purchase the uh the three rod mount holder in the back which i would say is worth the money for the 20 bucks uh to carry your rods and again the only adjustment is the pad eye so it's totally secure if you load this up you can actually tie this down on the front where the original bungee would be but uh it's secure enough to travel and while you're out on a kayak so Inside again, just simple screws with a washer to mount them, and then on the underside is just uh, the cedar furring strips. I could have left it like that, but I didn't like the look of the wood, so I had these plastic covers. I just dressed the sides with the plastic covers, screwed them right into the uh, furring strips. What these originally are, I think they're a cargo mark management type of uh, system that you can buy came in a vehicle that we purchased so we had them uh, but basically you can put them in the back seat of your vehicle to keep uh, grocery bags or items from sliding around so it just dresses the side up you could use the application is you could use anything you want you could put a indoor outdoor carpet you could paint it so this may not necessarily look like it's off the factory line from the lifetime kayak company but i think it looks uh uh, like it belongs and again kind of dresses up the uh, the milk crate uh, again. So there's a good uh, Configurable solution if you come up with something better. It's literally a couple screws and a $5 investment for the wood uh, um, To take it apart and to do something different, but I haven't found anything any better. So uh, I know there's been a lot of good videos mobbing outdoors has been uh, Put a lot of really good content. He had the prior version so he didn't have to contend with this and then uh, uh, Headwater Kayak out in California did a nice review on this and they're doing a $500 build cost of the kayak plus mods under $500 I've yet to see that so I'm curious to see what they come up with but uh, in the meantime I hope you like this in fact I hope you can improve on it and uh, uh, if you do like, like the uh, video subscribe and uh, we'll catch you on the water thanks